I hope you like heights. Because this next place we're exploring is full of fun obstacles to climb. So come along as we zip on through this amazing adventure. Hi, I'm Matt Baker. I'm the Chief Adventure Officer at Terrapin Adventures and welcome to my playground. Um, could you tell us a little bit about this place, like the background and history? Sure, Courtney. I uh, went on a family vacation to Costa Rica about uh, 15 years ago and I thought it was really cool. And at that time I was thinking about doing something entrepreneurial, so I started planning an idea and it's evolved over time and after about four years of work, Terrapin Adventures came to fruition. Um, we have all kinds of things here. We have um, a traditional zip line, a high ropes challenge course here, a giant swing with two G's of adrenaline, a climbing tower that's 43 feet tall and 12 different ways up and down, including upside down head first. We have a kids course for explorers in the five to nine year old. And the most recent thing we've added is our jump from 40 feet into the void of nothing. Uh, how long has Terrapin Adventures been around? Hana, this has been our, this is our 10th year. So we have served about 150,000 guests over that time. It's been really nice. Uh, what would you say makes this place unique to work at for all the workers here? Well, um, I hire staff based upon their personality. I can teach someone a technical skill, but I can't teach them to be engaging. So it's really nice to work with the group and we have a, such a diverse range of clients, everything from uh, young kid birthday parties to uh, corporate clients. And it's really nice. Every day is a little different. All right, in order to work here, what kind of training do you have to go through? Well, uh, training is depends on how much experience you've had in the field before, but if you've had none and you're an engaging, good person, it usually takes a couple weeks to get up to speed and doing things, and then training continues as we teach you more and more skills on how to work with groups in particular. Uh, what's your favorite part about being here? Favorite part? Well, I really like working with our groups that do the team building, uh, particularly the adult groups. Um, during the course of a uh, full day program, we're gonna take them through the five stages of group development from forming and norming and storming and performing, but getting to challenge them, getting them seeing to know each other a little bit better on a deeper level, and hopefully they can actually improve their working relationships. What's the record speed of getting through the course? <laughs> well, we try not to encourage uh, that because we don't want people to be unsafe. But for instance, on the um, high course here, level one, I think the record is something around 45 seconds to go through one thing. And to go upside down through our rainbow serpent, I think that is about 12 to 15 seconds going down. That's pretty fast. Yeah. Um, how challenging would you say the courses are to complete? Well, you know, that's, that's the nice thing. We have, you know, six major different elements here, and not including our low ropes course where we do uh, things for more of the team building and groups. You know, we can also adjust it and make it harder for a person during the course. Like on the high course, we can have them do things like hop on one foot or go blindfold or backwards. Or if they're having trouble on the tower or here, for instance, we can make suggestions on how to make it easier. So uh, the kids course, like I said, is for younger kids and the other thing is just for ages eight and up. Typically, if you're over eight and 70 pounds, you can pretty much do everything. How often are new additions added to the course? Well, the last new thing we had, which was our jump, the Terrapin Flyer, that was in 2015. I've sort of run out of space, but the nice thing is it's not just about physical things. It's also using our creativity. So for all of our programs with groups, we come up with new games all the time. So every year we are adding a couple new games and exercises for people. So even though there is a physical limitation, we have new things. And like we have a summer camp. And this year we added kayaking, archery, uh, slack lining when you're balancing on a piece of webbing, and slip and slide. Everyone likes a good slip and slide, right? Yeah. Um, who designed all of the courses? Um, I worked with um, a specialized builder from the Association of Challenge Course Technologies. They're called InterQuest or Vestal's Gap. 
and uh, in conjunction with me, we kind of talked about what we were looking to do and the physical limitations of the space. We only have a couple acres here. And uh, we came up with a design. Uh, literally on the napkin, we came up with some of them. What safety regulations do you have to follow? Well, uh, in the state of Maryland, we follow the um, Association for Challenge Course Technology guidelines. Um, initially, I was inspected by the state, but then they determined that it wasn't in their jurisdiction. But we have the course inspected by an outside vendor twice a year. All of our staff go through specialized training, and we're constantly updating things and using our um, incidents that may happen during the course of the year as to come up with different ways to make the course safer and go things smoother. Uh, what kind of other events do you guys have here? Glad you asked. So in addition to the, what you see here on the course, we have our summer camp. We do our local tours and trips, which is kayaking, a little nature kayak tour, uh, bike tour. Uh, we follow along the uh, Little Patuxent River along a path to a lake. It's kind of nice right from here. Uh, we take people caving in West Virginia, so an introduction to caving. Uh, we even can take people on the Appalachian Trail in near Harpers Ferry and we go backpacking for a couple of days. And uh, though it's not as popular as it used to be, we also do geocaching. We do birthday parties, adult parties, and the whole range of um, field trips and team building. Uh, about two-thirds of our business actually is working with groups. I think we have one big group from UMBC here today. We have a birthday party this afternoon, and that's very typical. What's a regular day at summer camp like here? Well, the nice thing about our summer camp is it's not your average summer camp. It's a real high adventure one, so every day you're doing different things. So you'll be using the course, you'll be kayaking, you'll be doing archery, You'll be doing slack lining, slip and slide. We have some crafts. We even have a lock-in uh, for overnights where you'll do some campfire cooking and stargazing and s'mores. So you'll be uh, tired when you're done, that's for sure. Um, how many people would you say come here daily? Uh, it really varies a lot. Um, we do about um, 18,000 people a year. Our prime season is April through October when most of the activity occurs because people aren't as enthusiastic in the November through March period. Oh, what's your favorite part of the course? The high course. High course. Is there a favorite section you have there? Uh, no, it's just nice being up there and I like encouraging people to get outside their comfort zone and try different things. Uh, I like making it a little harder for them if they're kind of knocking it off too easy and you know with like a team building group we'll have them uh, handcuffed to each other oh, so they wow. have to work together or they'll have to carry a water balloon and the water balloon cannot break so they somehow have to work together to transport the water balloon across the high course. It's really interesting. It seems like a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. You know it's we call it structured play so you can come here as a recreational guest or you can come here as a group and you tell us what your purpose is and we'll design a program that meets your needs whether it's more social or it's actually more um, social and team bonding or something more team building where you're actually working on issues of trust improving communication the nuances of uh, clear communication both verbal nonverbal uh, how to be open to other points of view as you vet different ideas through problem solving and of course the ultimate collaborating together and developing and executing a plan. All right, that's all our questions for today. Well, thank, thank you, you for coming, guys. Great. Hope you have a good time and get on the swing. Thanks for watching our show. Don't forget to follow us on YouTube and all our social media. And if you have any suggestions on places for us to explore, please check out our website in the description below. Until next time, we're out.